Karina here from World Wild Hearts and today we are at Isla Mujeres. Uh, it's an island near Cancun and we're gonna explore it for the whole weekend. We have like two and a half days so let's see what the island has to offer. So here are the top activities we found in Isla Mujeres. What you see in this video is how it really looks in this beautiful destination. No filters added. At number 5 we have Torta Grantia, the sea turtle sanctuary. This sanctuary is home to turtles at every stage of development. Isla Mujeres is a hatching ground for giant sea turtles that lay their eggs in the soft sand from May through September. Many eggs are gathered and placed in pens at the turtle farm to keep them safe from predators. Every year, hundreds of sea turtles survive thanks to the care and love of the islanders. The fourth best activity we did in Isla Mujeres was biking the island. The island itself is about 13 kilometers off the coast of Cancun and is only 7 kilometers in length and about half a kilometer wide. It's easily bikeable in a day, however we recommend to stick to the east side if you're looking for less hills. We took the west side on our way to Punta Sur and had to walk a few times. Alternatively, you can rent a golf cart on the island for a more leisurely travel. At number three, we have watching the sunset at North Beach. This beach has ultra white sand and is perfect for swimming or capping off the evening with a painted sky. Since the island faces Cancun, you can get beautiful sunset views from this vantage point over the water and facing west. The runner-up activity was exploring Punta Sur. We knew there were ancient Mayan ruins along the cliffs, but were surprised by the intricate coastal walkway along the shore. Seeing the cliff erosion up close and feeling the waves near our feet was exhilarating to say the least. And the best activity to do in Isla Mujeres is snorkeling. We had the opportunity to do a four hour tour starting near the heart of town. The guide took us to an old shipwreck, the Manchones Reef, and the Musa Underwater Museum. The Underwater Museum was like nothing we had ever experienced before. Statues built in the depths of the Caribbean Sea have slowly turned into reef themselves, with fish making their homes in and around them. 
The project was meant to take pressure off the snorkeling tourism of surrounding reefs and it was an amazing sight to behold.